Hey everyone, Stephen Pope here. Don We Now Are Gay Apparel, we're here to bring you the best RPGs of 2018. Consider this our gift giving guide, combined with a way to celebrate the never ending year finally coming to a close. No, 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 no. So, I apparently need a co host because I'm not. Because you're I'm not really not all that, that jolly. jolly. Yeah. 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 I'm Michael Holmes, and this is Saving Throws Guide to the Top RPGs. 2018. Samurai, magic, politics, intrigue, and drama abound in the latest edition of Legend of the Five Rings from Fantasy Flight Games. This beautiful full-color book brings the detailed world of Rokugan back to life with the honor and glory it so deserves. And like every other Fantasy Flight RPG system I can name, it does require its own set of proprietary uh, dice. Now why is that? Because it's Fantasy Flight, and they can get away with it. Thankfully, there's an app for that. Unless you want to spring for the starter set. So despite that little complaint, what you have here is a game with a really cool world that's distinct and amazingly crafted. Character creation is a blast, and the honor system's pretty cool. So yeah, Saving Throw totally recommends it. And who doesn't want to be a samurai? Yo! Did you? Yeah, I slipped the sound guy a five for that one. Hmm. See what happens when ordinary people are put into extraordinary situations. Work together, fight the unknowable, and Jonathan Gilmore and Doug Lewandowski's Kids on Bikes. Kids on Bikes brings out a great narrative-based game that celebrates movies like The Goonies or Monster Squad and the works of Stephen King. I hear synth. Does anyone else hear synth? The game brings some of the best tools from Savage Worlds while tweaking it enough to make it its own creature entirely. <laughs> oh. It's also a really simple system to set up with plenty of archetypes for players to explore, offering that nice middle ground between something like Savage Worlds and a narrative system like Fate. It was a huge hit at Gen Con, and for good reason. Now, um, about that synth. The game does a great job making world building into its mechanics and letting each player feel important and diverse, which I dare say is radical. <laughs> Gnarly. I was born in 1992. Silent Zygo. <clears throat> in case it wasn't obvious, yes, this game is ideal for all your Stranger Things needs, but it can be so much more than that. That is why it is one of Saving Throw's top RPGs of 2018. I found the upside down! Oh, no, wait, that's just the gum underneath the gaming table. What? Explore the continent during the Nilfgaardian War and bring your own journey to life while destroying the monsters within in the official RPG of The Witcher. So high fantasy isn't exactly anything new for RPGs, but uh, but The Witcher managed to create its own world through three video games and eight novels that have become a worldwide sensation. Now usually a tie-in RPG like this would just be some reskin of D&D with a few trademarks thrown around here and there, but what? Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> ah! Are you happy now? Very much so, yes. So this game managed to do something cool, and that's actually make the combat super tense. It's not just roll the number and remove some HP, so much as it's pray that the stab doesn't pierce any vital organs and that you've managed to outplan the big scary monster. Stuff like that doesn't come around very often, and really it's amazing. There's more to it, like the innovative class system. Or the fact that you can be your own Witcher. <laughs> or surprisingly the diverse cast of monsters. But I think what really makes this game a saving throw recommendation is that it's just cool. As cool as my Geralt impersonation? Yeah, just about. Hmm. Explore the ninth world and find the mysteries of a billion year empire in Monty Cook Games' sequel to Numenera in Numenera 2, Destiny and Discovery. Numenera is sort of a cross between Dune and Heavy Metal and Dungeon World, a completely different but wonderful narrative-driven game with a major twist. Character creation is less, I have a 15 in charisma and more... I'm a mystic clave who entertains. Yeah. And then building from there with a GM working on how weird or not weird you are in the world. And that's not even going into how interesting and fleshed out the world of a billion years in the future that's is. Awesome. Yes. So Numenera presents a world built on the remains of not one, but eight fallen civilizations. So you're exploring magic and science, and it's just so cool. So of course, Saving Throw was thrilled when we heard the game was getting a second edition, and we got it, and it's just kind of amazing. It takes everything good about the first game. I don't think chainsaw grenades are things. Whatever. But makes it so much better. The game is now split into two books, 
Destiny, which is for running the game and for lore purposes, and Discovery, which allows players to just jump in with character creation and everything they'll need. We love it when books make RPGs approachable, so of course it makes our top list of RPGs in 2018. See me after class. Oh man. One of the top RPGs of all time begins its evolution with you at the center of it with Pathfinder Playtest. So Pathfinder was once a game that was basically known as D&D 3.5, but better. Yeah, but like how any chef can take a recipe and make it their own, over the years Pathfinder's grown to its own identity with comic books and a card game and more books than you shake a stick out. Right, which is why it was so shocking to see that Paizo took everything they learned over the past decade and make this, a from the ground up game of dungeon crawling and dragon slaying with its own terminology. And I, I mean, it's Pathfinder. It's the biggest rival to D&D available on the market. And it's got a new edition that's interesting and inventive and combat is so much better. Ugh, you can play as goblins now mm -hmm. and artificers, which means I can throw bombs all the time, forever, as a goblin. It's so much Cleaner and better and, oh God, I can't get over how good so this game Steven is. So Steven and I are both huge fans of Starfinder, huge. which was Paizo's 2017 game of space adventures. And we are thrilled to say that Pathfinder 2.0 shaping up to be a great system. But where does that leave the play test? So this isn't really Pathfinder 2.0. It's more Pathfinder 1.5, but that's not a bad thing. You're not spending out the notes for an incomplete game. This is a full player's handbook and GM's guide. It's ready to go for players level one to 20. Right, and not only that, the game is good like really really good so good and like it's ready to go now you can get it now you like, can get a bar go out there get and it. buy it buy it on amazon all right yeah this bit wasn't super funny was it who cares the game's good yeah, that's true the powerful and versatile savage world system gets its first update in 15 years with savage worlds adventure edition well, howdy, partner. We got it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. Capes are bench to tie. Um. So anyway, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of Savage World. What is this? Well, we're doing Savage Worlds. It's a great system for superheroes. We agreed to do superheroes. No, we agreed to do the Weird West thing because, like, uh, wild cards. Available on the Saving Throw YouTube channel. Make sure you go and check it out. Stop. <sighs> Well, it's a generic system, so you can do anything with it. And it works even better now that it's been updated with 15 years worth of feedback. Which you can watch used in the survival horror setting of East Texas University, here. Hey, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, got another domino mask? Yeah, I prefer Weird West anyway. Uh, well, I got a hat for you. Oh, thanks, partner. Christmas sweaters and cowboy hats. Now, if that ain't a good way to ring in the holidays, <laughs> I don't know what is. So. Those were some of Saving Throw's favorite RPGs of 2018. What were your favorites? Any we didn't include on the list? Let us know in the comments. And thank you as always for joining us at our table. Don't forget to subscribe, and of course, check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash savingthrowshow. Steven, happy holidays. Happy holidays, Michael. And from all of us here at Saving Throw, happy, happy holidays! holidays!